Hey guys, it's me again. Welcome to another weekend vlog. If you guys didn't see my previous vlog, I will post that down below. But in that vlog, I went and got a derma planning um, appointment for the first time, which basically they take a scalpel and they shave off your dead skin and the hair on your face. And it was amazing and I can't wait to go back. So make sure to watch that video. And I also did a wedding DIY in that video. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to check it out. But for today's video, I'm going to run some errands. I need to return some stuff. If you guys would like to see the vlog, definitely keep on watching. And if you guys are new here please consider subscribing and liking this video but let's go ahead and get into this vlog i don't know why i'm starting this video like a actual um diy video like i'm telling you to keep watching like obviously it's a vlog so um for today's agenda i need to run to alta to return uh this becca cosmetics illuminating foundation that i bought and i thought it was gonna be really nice but it's not that great alta is having this promo where um some of their top rated products you can get seven times all to rewards points and one of the product is the physician formula butter bronzer and i've been meaning to try that for the longest time because everyone raves about it and i love buying bronzers and contour powders so i'm gonna go and get that and i'm really excited to buy that um also i went to victoria's secret last week and it was my very first purchase ever and they had this robe that was so cute it had like ruffles or kind of like bell sleeves and ruffles at the bottom and I just thought it would be perfect um, for robes to like wear while getting ready for the wedding and if you guys already um, watched some of my videos you guys know I already got robes for myself and my bridal party from this Etsy shop called Joy Mabel Gifts um, I will make sure to link her down below she has really affordable robes and she personalized them for us but when I saw these this robe from Victoria's Secret it was just so cute and I wanted to wear that for my wedding day but they didn't have in white um, but I couldn't stop thinking about it so I think I'm gonna go to Victoria's Secret and get that pink one and then go to to Joann's and get um, some satin fabric and try to make it myself in white because I feel like it's pretty easy but I just tried on the white robe that I have which I actually have right here so it's just like a satin robe and there's a lot of fabric on here so I think I can actually alter this to make it look like the one from Victoria's Secret the one thing I'm worried about is that the one from Victoria's Secret the fabric is very soft um, and very flowy and this one's a little bit more stiff. I don't know I don't know if I want to mess up this robe or not or just try to make it from scratch So I'm gonna go to Victoria's Secret get that robe and then go to Joann's and see what kind of fabric they have and maybe just make it out of scratch So I thought I would show you guys that enough with the jabbering I'm gonna head to Ulta and then I will see you guys when I'm there. Hey guys I'm actually at the mall in the parking lot right now I'm gonna go to Sephora first and then go to Victoria's Secret But I just got my bridal earrings in the mail today and I'm so excited so I thought I would open it on camera for you guys so so I got my earrings from an Etsy shop called Crystal Avenue and she has so much jewelry like it's so pretty I could not decide and they're so affordable so the reason why I got these specific pairs were because I went to Von Mark to try on earrings just for fun because I'm not a big accessory girl and especially like earrings so I went and tried on this pair from Von Mark and I was in love it was so pretty but it was $90 um, so I went onto Etsy and I found a very similar pair for like half the price. So I'm gonna open it. So this is her Etsy shop. It's Crystal Avenue. And this is what the box looks like. It has a little elastic and a cute little flower in the front. So I'm gonna open it up. I'm so excited. Oh, there's more, more packaging. Okay, so it comes in two separate little baggies like this. <gasps> so pretty look at that wow look at that i'm sorry please excuse my nails that is so pretty it looks just like the one from von mar i will post a picture right here of the von mar and then the one of the etsy shop one you guys they're so similar and they're half the price i'm so excited they look so beautiful i'm gonna open up the other one so i really recommend checking out her shop again i will link it down below let me try one of them on just to see what it looks like that is so pretty i love how like long and kind of dramatic it is too but not too in your face but yeah let's go in into the mall now i'm gonna take these off because i look kind of crazy <laughs>
Robin, please help me find this one. It's their Silky Solids. 60% off and it's really soft. It's so shiny and lightweight. So I think I'm going to get this because it kind of matches the pink one perfectly. So we're going to try this out. So I just got back from Joanne's. I'm in my car now. I was in there forever because I wanted to buy a new pair of scissors. And I was like, should I just invest in a really expensive one? They're expensive. Scissors were like almost $40, but I could have used a half off coupon, but then it still would have been a pretty expensive for a pair of scissors. So I just bought this like $17 pair of scissors um, and I got half off of that, which was really nice. So I just need a good pair of scissors. And then I bought the fabric. I will show you guys when I get home, I'll do a comparison of all the fabrics. But my phone is at 10% right now and I'm gonna run to Alta and then run home and I will see you guys then. <laughs> guys so I'm home now and I tried on the new butter bronzer that I just got from Ulta I got it in the shade bronzer and they do have a lighter shade and then they have like a sun-kissed bronzer and then a darker bronzer so there's four shades I believe and I just tried it on and I really really like it it's very subtle so I'm really happy I didn't go with the lighter bronze and I really like it because it has like the slightest sheen to it which is exactly what I've been looking for it does have a scent to it, it smells like um, coconuts kind of if I can get this open it smells like coconut and like cocoa butter I said cocoa butter I just got it on my nose but I did a little swatch on my hand it just has the slightest sheen and I like how it's more of a cool tone it's not super warm or orangey which is perfect I wanted to show you guys the swatches of the satin fabrics that I got for the robes this one here is a robe that I already have that I was planning to wear and then this one is the one from Victoria's Secret and then this is the fabric that I got from Joann's today so as you guys can see this one is a lot shinier and it's not as soft it's a little bit stiffer but it's still a really good fabric and then the Victoria's Secret fabric I really love it's just super soft and it has like the slightest sheen to it and then the one that I got from um, Joanne's fabrics is very similar to Victoria's Secret so I'm gonna try to make this robe out of this fabric out of scratch I'm not gonna mess with this robe because I was going to alter it but I don't want to mess it up just in case so if this doesn't turn out we'll just figure it out but I like this kind of sheen more than this one. This one is just a little bit too much, but it's still a really nice robe. Let me pull out the bridesmaid robe because it's pink so we can compare all four. Okay, now this is all four. So this is the one that we already have for the bridesmaids. It's a lot more pink. It's like a baby pink. And then this one here is more of a blush. If these were cheaper, I would buy these for my bridesmaids, but they're like almost $60 and I would have to get three of them. So I'm just going to stick with them having this one that we already had. And they already have the custom um, titles on the back so like maid of honor and then this white one already has bride I think once I do get this to look like this robe I'll just go ahead and do a DIY gold bride on the back which shouldn't be that hard I should actually try this on so you guys know what it looks like and so this is what the pink one looks like I just love it so much I was too lazy to take off my clothes so um, it is kind of clinging to my clothes just because kind of staticky but when I did try it on with no clothes underneath it just fits really really nicely and I love the flowy sleeves and the flowy bottom and it's just like the perfect length it's not too short uh, I just really really like it I wish they had a white one that would just been perfect and then this is what the white one looks like uh, it's just I don't know now that I've tried their pink one I just feel like this one isn't as cute but it's still a really nice robe so this is what the back looks like if I can move my hair out of the way it just says bride it doesn't fit to my body as well like it's really boxy and I never realized how long the sleeves were I thought they were short sleeves but this one is a really nice one too so basically what I'm gonna do is lay out the pink robe and try to lay the newspaper on top of it to kind of like cut out a pattern for it and then lay those patterns on top of this white fabric that we got from Joann's and then cut those out and then figure out a way to sew them together so this is gonna be a process it's gonna take all night but it's gonna be worth it because this robe is gonna be cute so I will show you guys that process as much as I can okay so this is what I have so far I have the sleeves here 
we have the top or this is the front and the back and then we have them sewed up the next day today is sunday and i didn't film a lot of last night of me making the robe because it was just so much work and trying to film and do this at the same time was just way too much for me to handle so i wanted to show you guys my progress today i actually ran out of fabric because i thought i messed up and then i used extra fabric to redo it over and then i just ended up going with the same the first thing i started with so i wanted to show you guys my progress i gotta run back to joanne's to get maybe like a yard of the fabric again i really want to finish it today because i feel like i'm really close so let me show you guys what i have so far i have the whole rope itself finished i have the sleeves and the ruffles what I need to do now is just add the ruffles at the bottom and add the lined layer around at the very edge and I'm thinking about the sleeve trying to hem it it just started curling around so I think what I've seen before is some people they'll like take a little um, lighter and they'll light the very edge of fabric and that will kind of um, seal it together so I'm gonna try that later on a scratch fabric so I don't mess this one up so hopefully if that works I'm gonna cut off this hem and then just do that lighter around it so that's what I have so far I'm really excited it's fitting pretty nicely and that took me like oh, four hours but I'm really excited so let's go to Joanne so I can get more fabric to finish this thing up I'm back so I picked up another yard of this fabric and then I also picked up the Cricut foiled iron on in gold so I could put bridal in the back of my robe I'm gonna just try to finish the robe and I would try to get clips for you guys if I can't I apologize I want to take a piece of um, fabric you see how it has these raw edges I'm going to take my little lighter and see if um, lighting the edge will kind of seal it because I know some people do that for ribbons so I just wanted to test it out on camera. So hopefully you guys can see these raw edges. And uh, let's try not to burn down the apartment. So just, just slightly want to tap it. Oh. It works. Yes, it's perfect. Let me actually fix this one first. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys an up close of it. Um, as you guys can see, even if you try to get the raw edges out, it won't come out anymore because it's sealed. Um, compared to like these at the bottom, you can still see these little raw edges. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off this hem and just do that same method all around so that it's not heavy and doesn't have these ugly wrinkles on there. So I'm really excited that that worked out. so it's been a couple hours later and I finally finished with my robe I'm really happy with the way it turned out I wanted to show you guys what it looks like on finish but I wanted to show you guys the Victoria's Secret one first so you can have something to compare it to so this is the Victoria's Secret one like I showed earlier and I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like on it just fits perfectly and this is my finished DIY robe. I really like the way it turned out. It was so much work, you guys. I would not do this again. But I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Obviously, it's not like the quality of Victoria's Secret. But I think it still looks really, really nice and pretty close to the robe. I will do a side-by-side -side photo. But I'm really, really happy. I love the ruffle sleeves. I think the biggest or the hardest part I had a, a handle was at the very end. I felt like the neck was too loose so there was a lot of loose fabric like this and so what I had to do was I sewed a little triangle on the back of my neck so it would pull up a lot of this front piece 
so I think it looks a lot better now and I'm really really excited to wear it on my wedding day now I just need to do the bride on the back which I will probably do another day okay guys I'm gonna end the vlog here because I'm just really exhausted but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my vlog and my weekend errands I usually do so please let me know in the comments if you guys liked the way my robe turned out I was I'm really proud of myself because it was a lot of work making this from scratch but make sure to like and subscribe if you guys are new here and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching guys bye Thank you.